Post-game press conference as NJIT defeats Maryland Eastern Shore by a score of 70-41 to 41 to improve to 11-16 and 16 on the season. And with that, us, we have Coach Steve Lanfear, Alyssa Albanese, and of course, Leah Horton. And Coach, I'll start with you. I know uh, you had a tough, your team had a tough game against Texas Pan American, though you played your hearts out, losing by one point, but tonight coming out with a ton of intensity, ton of energy, and how did it feel to just watch your team really take it over early on in the first half? Yeah, we really, I uh, thought, the first five minutes, I thought defensively, we set the tone. We didn't allow them to attack and get easy hoops off their dribble drive offense. And then offensively, we were really unselfish moving the basketball and getting wide open looks. And obviously, when you get that, uh, you got to knock down shots. And, and obviously, in that first half, we, we shot at a 58% clip. Uh, so we were really knocking down shots. But, you know, it starts with, with a list when she's leading us. Uh, and, and she was really pushing the ball out. They were trying to take her away, try to deny her a little bit, but she did a great job getting the basketball and just getting us up, us in situations where we could score. And, and obviously, uh, we knocked down shots in that first half. And with that, defensively, we defended so well, uh, and we didn't give them, them any uh, bailout fouls uh, and kept them off the free throw line. So just a tremendous first half, especially. Alyssa, tonight, of course, uh, congratulations. Uh, now all-time steals leader here at NGIT in the Division One era. And also going in as well to tonight, being in the loan category for steals uh, and for excuse me for assist as well. Uh, to hear your name be all across uh, the record books here at NJIT personally, obviously it's got to feel great. But that uh, that extra category doesn't sound too bad, right? Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. I mean, defense wins games, so to have that still record, I think is great. I thought it was what was one pretty cool thing was uh, when everyone was clapping for you and you know giving you that moment. It looked like you just wanted to keep playing at that point, just keep the game going at that point. Is that just kind of how you are, in a sense? Just let me focus on my play and we'll worry about all the accolades afterwards. Um, well, to be honest, I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to hurry up and get it going, win the game. Um, but I mean, I finally looked up and I saw that everybody was staring at me, and I was like, okay, I get it now. I guess I. I got the, the record and and when you look at tonight too and I know coach talked a lot about a lot of the things you did well and doing a great job moving the offense as you have all season and and not only your ability just to help move the offense but even kind of help the team lead on the defensive side and I know they had some big post players tonight but what do you think made it to have such an easy time isolating those post players and getting them you know putting your team in a chance to win tonight's game um I think the fact that they were guarding me so closely, um, and a lot of them were, since I'm small, a lot of them like to jump and like run and jump at me. Mm -hmm. I think it was easy just to get the ball to the open player. Um, my teammates were really good at finding the open the spaces, open spaces, and um, making that extra pass to get easy layup or easy shot. Leah, uh, game leading tonight with 12 points and extremely efficient from the field, and going a couple times to the free throw line and. Uh, all season, you've been you had a really strong presence of playing in the post and being there around the basket. Um, tonight, you really had you really exemplified that here this evening. Did you just find it was it just easy for you to find a flaw in that defense tonight, or do you think it was just a simple fact to be in the right place at the right time? Um, well, I think that um, my teammates, you know, Garth and Post, they always put me in a good position to score. You know, I think. Being that I am a post player, a lot of times I don't see, you know, what's behind me a lot of times. So I think um, a lot of it is my teammates seeing the floor and being able to see me when I'm open and when I'm not open. So um, they put me in good positions to score around the basket, which is definitely helpful. So. And for all three of you, it was just uh, nice to see everybody get a chance to touch the basketball tonight. And I know Coach has had a chance to really uh, kind of talk about that. But for you two, seeing that, not only for you two who have been leaders of this team to uh, you know help get your team's wins, but also seeing the supporting <laughs> cast get their chance to point some points in as uh, as well here tonight. And how did it feel just to kind of sit back and see everybody getting involved? I mean, even uh, maybe some players who don't normally get as involved as they normally do. So, uh, Alyssa, I'll start with you. Um, it's really exciting. I mean, um, just sitting back watching some players who – uh, don't really get the opportunity and for them to get a bucket I think it's more exciting than actually like me getting the bucket you know um, the starting five is supposed to set the tone um, we we got a good lead and I think it's our job to get the lead and then let other players get in and get their time from Leah for your perspective yeah I definitely think it's really exciting um, you know we have the four seniors and 
you know, we're finishing out um, their season. And I think it's also as well, I think it's exciting for, um, you know, us to get this win for them. But it's also exciting to see that the people who are coming back next year are getting some time, getting comfortable in the game. And um, so that's really important too, so. Coach, two more games left Friday night, senior night, and then a uh, trip up to UMass Lowell after that. And uh, I know you're going to have a few days, of course, of practice until that Friday night, that senior night here at NJIT, a 7 o'clock game against St. Joseph Brooklyn. Uh, what do you think are a few things that you'd like to see uh, your team work on? Or you just kind of continue to just work on everything at this point? Well, I think we're just trying to uh, get better every day. And, and, and a lot of coaches talk about that, but that's really important to us. And uh, Alyssa, especially here to my right, she has really established a foundation of success for our team moving forward. Uh, you know, we've gotten better every year she's been here. And that's just something that, uh, you know, she takes great pride in. Uh, and, and when we go on to continue to improve next year, it's because of all the hard work she's put in uh, these past four years. And uh, I really uh, am proud of our team that, you know, we've got 11 wins. Obviously, it's an improvement from last year, but we're still playing for something. We're still playing for each other. And, and uh, that's what we, we'll look to do on Friday. Obviously, being senior night, we'll look to kind of, uh, you know, let the seniors have their time, but we're trying to become better uh, each and every day. And, and that's what I'm most proud of this year is it doesn't matter what the score is, what the record is, we play hard. We play hard for each other. Coach, Alyssa, Leah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.